And this is about as fast as you want to go. You don't have to come all up here and do a four, three. It's not going to work because guess what? Just doing this, my trap's going to do this. So it's going to be too hard. And I'm going to end up doing this at the very end. I don't have times I've seen this. So we're playing the violin or just, I don't know what we're doing this, this, this kind of thing. What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shui by at BB Pro Metallic. It is. Welcome back to another episode of Train With Me. Today we are at John Reed Gym in downtown LA, and I got a bone to pick with you guys. Is the front raise a good exercise or not? Got a lot of mixed reviews. But today, guys, I'm gonna tell you like it is and bring you guys through how to optimize your front raises to help you get a bigger, better chest and bigger front delts. All right, so check it out. Before we actually get into it, I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of what it actually does. So, before we get started, where's the front delt? Well, here's the front delt right here. We're kind of gonna go in here and, and zoom into my, my nice, smooth skin. And this muscle right here, your front delt, it helps with shoulder flexion, raising the arm up. It also assists with shoulder adduction as well too. So it does help pull the arm in a bit this way as well. So not only does it do this, it does help with doing this as well. And the cool thing about that is, is your pec minor helps do the same thing too. So if something's lacking in the pec minor area, you're probably not hitting the chest and your delts the proper way. Here's how we're gonna do this a lot better. Now, so number one, like I said from the start, anytime we do any kind of lift, we're really just contracting the muscle while we're adding a low. So to be honest, when we're just doing this, we should just be able to do this and down and that's it. It doesn't take you to do this to move your arm up. It doesn't. I mean, you can just do this. You don't gotta swing to pick up something out of the, out of the cupboard or grab something, I don't know. Whatever it is, you don't have to swing with it. Now, the, how to make it a little more optimal to include some of your chest into this is instead of taking the dumbbell and coming from here, we're gonna have, this, we're gonna have the dumbbell come from here to midline, midline being the middle of your body. So we're gonna incorporate some of that anterior head of the delt and the, the pec minor and the delt. So we're doing two of the same. We're doing shoulder flexion and shoulder adduction all at once. So instead of being out here, we're gonna bring it in here. Now we're doing dumbbell front raises. For the most part for me, if you're gonna be doing dumbbell, I'm gonna keep it unilateral. Why? Because again, most of you have imbalances and I've heard this a billion times. Johnny, my right side of my pec is smaller than my left or my right delt is smaller than whatever. Well, guess what? We're gonna do this alternating. So, basic way to do it. Now, I don't want you to do one of these and then try to hold it down for four seconds. It's just not gonna last, it's not gonna work. So what we wanna do is we wanna emphasize being able to get the full range of motion up and then controlling it down. Now the next one comes up and controlling it down. Right, we're in a neutral grip pulling up and controlling it down. So you want your feet show width apart. You don't wanna to be too close like this. Feet show width apart, get nice and grounded, tiny bit of a hinge, locking the floor, chest up, head up. And from here, I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna pull it up and put it in the front of my body and then back down. The other, I'm gonna come up from the body and then back down. And we're gonna pull in and back down. We're being that neutral grip. We're pulling up and squeezing and back down. And this is about as fast as you wanna go. You don't have to come all up here and do a four, three. It's not gonna work because guess what? Just doing this, my trap's gonna do this, so it's gonna be too hard, and I'm gonna end up doing this at the very end, right? So all I wanna do is do my best to get the change, to have that change of direction, the top lift, squeeze up and back down. And to do your best to avoid having your traps pull the weight up here. And that's a lot of time while your front delts aren't developed. Because we're doing a shrug at the top, I don't have times I've seen this. So we're playing the violin or just, I don't know what we're doing this, this, this kind of thing. From here, just up and then back down. Controlling it up and back down. Bring it to the midline of your body. It's gonna incorporate more of your front delt and your pec minor so you can get a better overall developed chest. Hey guys, check it out. My three, four, and five day beginner splits are up right now on the site, as well as my half price one-time plans. So for more information about that, hit the link in the description below. Back to the show. So some of the ways you can do this, I like doing them seated. When I do them seated, it takes the momentum out of me trying to swing. So I have to control that much more. But again, when I'm, sitting, when I'm doing it seated, that's when I want to do it unilateral, one arm at a time. So from here, taking that same cue I did before, make us come from the midline, is starting from straight from here, and then coming up in the middle, and then back down. I'm forcing a little bit of shoulder adduction and shoulder flexion at the same time. For me to bring it to midline, I have to shoulder adduct and shoulder flexion. So I'm really working my, my front delt and my chest at the same time. And we talked about this before, I can do it supinated as well too. From here, I'm gonna activate a little bit of the intercostal head of my pecs, the lower pecs coming up 
But again, I'm taking this weight from here and I'm pulling it right into the middle. Rather than doing it neutral, right? Or pronated. Or supinated. Doing them seated is gonna take away the momentum out of your lift. Or again, if we're gonna do double pronated grip or double over, you can use a bar. Pretty simple, attach it on. And again, we don't need a bunch of weight. We can just do a nice little lightweight here for me. We're gonna get inside and we're gonna place ourselves almost like we're doing, we're at the top of a deadlift. So we're here, we're up, and this is where we're at from here. And from here, we're gonna lift ourselves up and then in. We don't have to come up and then shrug up and down. What I want you to just think about, literally trying to press this far away from our body and keep our shoulders down and depressed and up. And the good thing about cables is we can do a little bit more controlling because we have a lot of tension at the top of the lift from here. And squeeze. Again, we want to be from here. Nice change of direction. The first three inches up, and those first three inches down is going to give a lot more tension on the muscle in a load directly on the delts. Now again, when we're doing pronated grip, pronated double over, we're gonna incorporate a little bit more of our lateral head of our delt. But just because we're in a pronated grip does not mean now this whole thing's on a lateral head of our delt. It just means that we're gonna incorporate a little bit of that delt, but the front delt is still being used a lot more in this. So don't get it twisted. Hand grip isn't gonna make this thing come all the way from here and all the way over here. It's gonna aid it a little bit, and that's about it. Same ideas with the cables. Go from here, show with the part. You don't have to be outside far here. Being from here, up and then up, and then down. Up, and then down. And then doing our best to make sure we're not shrugging it up. That's all we want to do. We want to bring it up, and then down. Controlling the weight. And then again, from there, like I see most people do it, the so infamous plate raise. I'm pulling it up and then down. And a good cue for this is, as soon as I can see through the hole of the plate, that's as high as I need to go. So if you look at me here, there you go. It's as high as you need to go. Now we can do this and all that stuff. That's just modified ways to, to tweak going from neutral grip to pronated. Again, we're working the same muscle no matter what. These are all great movements you can use and do to help aid you growing a bigger, better, fuller upper chest and interior delts. Hey guys, that is it for the video guys. If you guys enjoy the video and you guys give some of these tips a try, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe and share. You know I'm gonna come with a tell like it is transparent, vulnerable truth for coaching. JohnnySheet.com if you want to know more about my coaching guys, book yourself a 15 or 30 minute consult. At the end of the consult, I deduct off any package that you pick. And guys, hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes to help save your life or change life for the better. Like Johnny10 for 10% off, BlueStarNutraceuticals.com. Anyway guys, make sure you guys add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you, because you know how it is. Iron Chef is Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.